It's time for dessert, and we're going to make a chocolate tiramisu cake. This is very close to the Italian version, but instead of lady fingers, we're gonna make it really simple by using a chocolate cake. Tiramisu means pick me up, and all of your friends are gonna be picked up after they try this delicious dessert. This is such a simple dessert, but before you do anything, the first thing you need to do is make a pot of very strong coffee because you're gonna exchange coffee for the water in your cake mix. Um, this mix called for a cup of water, and instead of water, I'd use the coffee. And we're also gonna need coffee to dab on the layers of the chocolate cake before we put the mascarpone filling in there. So the next thing you do is bake your cake. Two nine inch layers, eight or nine inch layers, exchanging the coffee for water, like I said before, follow the rest of the directions, and then you're gonna split the layers, which we'll do in a few minutes. So while these cool, let's make our mascarpone filling. I've already taken two cups of heavy whipping cream and whipped them until they form stiff peaks. To that, we're going to add a half a cup of sugar and eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone is like cream cheese, but it has a little more of a, a taste that's not quite as sour as cream cheese, if that makes sense. If you can't find oops, mascarpone, you can absolutely use cream cheese. The texture is pretty much the same. Let's assemble this cake. First thing we have to do is split the layers. I'll show you the easiest way serrated knife, start on one side, and then keep going around the cake. If you try to just cut through the center, lots of times you'll end up with a lopsided cake. And come back around to where you started, and you should get two pretty good halves. Do this one. It's very easy to do when your cakes have cooled. Lovely. So what we're going to do next is some of that coffee I told you about that we needed. This is a half of a cup of very strong coffee that's cooled. And we're going to add two tablespoons of marsala wine. And you know marsala wine because we use it for chicken marsala, pork marsala. It's actually what Italians use for tiramisu, even though lots of times in the United States people use Kahlua or brandy. Anything you want to use is fine. This is just what we're doing today. So we're going to take the first part of the cake, put it in a springform pan. Springform pan is not sprayed. This is just going to help mold the cake. And it also is going to give kind of a naked cake look to the icing when it's over with. It's kind of a neat trick. From there, we want to brush a little bit of the coffee marsala mixture on the cake. Not enough to make it soggy, but just enough for the flavor to really get in the cake. And then we're going to top it with about a fourth of the mascarpone cream. We're going to end with a layer of cream, so kind of keep that in mind. going to use an offset spatula just to kind of smooth this around. This cake doesn't quite fit the pan, which is fine, because then the icing sort of, or the, the cream sort of squeezes out, and it just makes the cake a real showstopper. Wait till it's finished and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's one layer. So we're going to repeat this with all four layers until the cake is completely assembled. My maiden name is Baker, and people have heard this before, but I don't like to bake, so most of my dessert recipes are super simple, and I do use a lot of cake mixes and things like that. I think that the stuff you put on the cake is kind of the best part of the cake, more so than the actual cake cake. All right, 
That is layer number four. And if you don't use all of your coffee, that's fine. You don't want the cake to be soggy. Let's get the top layer on here. Okay. So you see it kind of comes over the edge, but that's okay. I'll show you a trick to make it very neat and professional looking when it's all on there. Okay. So I've gotten a little bit of chocolate in my cream, but that's okay. It's going to be dusted with cocoa powder in just a minute anyway. Okay. Okay, so see how sloppy this looks? Let me show you a trick. Take a piece of towel paper and go around the sides. Clean up the edges and make everything look nice and neat. See how simple that was? And now we're going to dust it with just a little bit of cocoa powder. Very small amount. At this point, the cake needs to be refrigerated for eight hours or overnight. Look at this beauty. Popped it right straight out of the springform pan. All you have to do is just open the little side thing, lift it off, and slide it onto your cake platter. I also have another nifty little gadget. This is the biggest spatula in the world, but it slides right under a cake or a cheesecake, anything that's kind of hard to remove from a springform pan. Slide this under it, put it on your cake pan, and it's easy, very easy. It's, ni it's nice for lots of other things too. If you have anything that's really big and hard to grip, this is a great, great kitchen tool. So, should we cut this thing? I think we should. Let's see. It's beautiful. Look at that. Perfect and delicious. Very easy. You'd never know it wasn't professionally made from a professional baker, not a baker who doesn't like to bake. Hope you enjoy it.